Hi mga kahuan and good day future chemist. Welcome to the General Chemistry 1 class. This section is on matter and its properties focusing on the formulas of common chemical substance. Let's begin! In this lesson, we will recognize the formulas of common chemical substances. There are more than 100 different types of atoms discovered at this point. Each type has its unique properties. Every type of atom or element has its own name and corresponding chemical symbol. And you can see that in the periodic table of the elements. Chemical symbol is one or two letter representation of elements. It must be written with the first letter capitalized. The names and symbols of the elements are listed in an array called the periodic table of the elements, which is shown on the left. Letters used as chemical symbols for many elements as derived from their English names like C for carbon and AR for argon. However, some elements have symbols derived from their foreign names like Latin or German. The symbol K for potassium originated from the, the Latin name Calium and W for tungsten came from its Greek name, Wolf from. Shown in this table is a list of some elements and their corresponding chemical symbols. We have aluminum, Al, antimony, Sb, bromine, Br, calcium, Ca, carbon, C, chlorine, Cl, and so on. Any substance can be represented by its chemical formula. A chemical formula consists of chemical symbols of the elements present in a substance with their respective quantities. Take note, in writing the chemical formula of a substance, you must have an idea about the elements making up the substance, as well as the quantity of each of these elements. Here are the several steps in writing chemical formulas. Step 1. Convert each element to its corresponding symbol. Step 2. If there is only one atom for an element, just write the symbol as it is. If there are two or more atoms for that atom type, write the number of atom as a subscript of the symbol. Do the same for the other element. Step 3. Combine the symbols and their super subscript, if applicable without spacing. Let us apply the steps in some examples. Example number one. Give the chemical formula of water, which has two hydrogen and one oxygen atoms. Step number one. Convert each element to a corresponding symbol. The symbol for hydrogen is H, while the symbol for oxygen is O. Step number two. If there is only one atom for an element, just write the symbol as it is. If there are two or more atoms for that atom type, write the number of atoms as a subscript of the symbol. Do the same for other elements. There are two hydrogens in water, so we will write H subscript of 2. Since there is only one oxygen, 
we will just write O. Notice that in writing chemical symbols or formulas, a chemical symbol without subscript indicates that there is one atom for that element. Step number three. Combine the symbols and their subscript, if applicable, without spacing. The chemical formula for water is H2O. There must be no space between two and oxygen. Example number two. Give the chemical formula of baking soda, which has one sodium, one oxygen, one carbon, and three oxygen atoms. Step number one. Convert each element to its corresponding symbol. The symbol for sodium is Na. Hydrogen is H. Carbon is C. And oxygen is O. Step number two. If there is only one atom for an element, just write the symbol as it is. If there are two or more atoms for that atom type, write the number of atom as a subscript of the symbol. Do the same for other elements. There are one sodium, so we will write the symbol as A, and H for hydrogen, and C for carbon, and O for oxygen. Three to designate that there are three oxygen atoms. Step number three. Combine the symbols and their subscript, if applicable, without spacing. We can write the chemical formula as NaHCO3. Sometimes, some formulas make use of parentheses. For example, given on the left is the formula of milk of magnesia. Notice that oxygen and hydrogen are enclosed in parentheses, followed by two as a subscript. The subscript indicates that the compound has two units of particle containing oxygen and hydrogen. The reason of the use of parentheses we will be discussed further in another lesson. Some reminders in writing chemical formulas. First, for element whose symbol has two letters, only the first letter of the chemical symbol is capitalized. Capitalizing both may lead to confusion. For instance, the symbol NO with O being a small letter pertains to nobilium, which is an element when O is capitalized, the symbol might mistakenly represent the formula of nitrogen monoxide, which is a compound. Second, for now, follow the order by which the atom types are stated in the problem. These or there are conventions followed in writing chemical formulas and this will be discussed in another lesson. One limitation of a chemical formula is that it may not pertain to only one substance. There are formulas that represent two or more substances. For example, the formula C2H6O may pertain to either ethyl alcohol or dimethyl ether, which are different compounds. On the other hand, the C6H12O6 is a chemical formula for glucose, fructose, galactose, and many other compounds. To summarize, chemical formulas give an idea about the chemical composition of substances. Here are references for the bibliography and also 
for the front learners adopted blended learning and lastly thank you for watching